The James Webb Telescope is making discoveries that are turning what we thought we knew about the universe on its head. It was built with a specific mission, to see the very beginning of time, to capture the faint, ancient light from the first stars and galaxies. For decades, the story of the cosmos has been the same. A single Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago, from which everything we know slowly, methodically took shape. We had the theory, we had the timeline, and Webb was supposed to be the final eyewitness to confirm that story. But wait, in the deepest, oldest pictures of the universe ever taken, it found something that has cosmologists completely baffled. Something that, according to our own rulebook, simply shouldn't be there. It found galaxies that are shockingly mature for their age. Think of it like meeting a toddler who can speak in full, eloquent sentences. These galaxies seem to have grown massive and complex far faster than our theories allow. This doesn't just challenge our ideas about how galaxies are built, it forces us to ask a much bigger question. Is the timeline of the universe itself wrong? It could be the first clue that our universe has a secret history and a future that might look a lot like its past. To understand why this is such a big deal, you have to remember one key thing. Looking out into space is literally looking back in time. The light from our sun takes eight minutes to reach us, so we always see it as it was eight minutes ago. The light from the Andromeda galaxy takes two and a half million years. The Webb telescope pushes this time travel to its absolute limit seeing light that has been traveling for over 13 billion years. Its mission was to see the cosmic dawn, the period just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. According to our standard model of cosmology, this era should have been a time of cosmic infancy. We expected to find the galactic equivalent of toddlers, small, messy, chaotic proto-galaxies just starting to pull themselves together. We expected to see a construction site with only scattered bricks and scaffolding. But that's not what Webb found. Instead, it saw what looked like finished skyscrapers in the construction yard. It discovered galaxies that were surprisingly large, well-structured, and far more numerous than any of our models predicted. Some of these ancient galaxies even looked like they had already lived a full life and stopped forming new stars at a time when they should have been at their most active. This is what scientists are calling the impossible early galaxy problem. How did these galaxies get so big so fast? Now, this is where it gets really controversial. One study took Webb's data and tried to estimate the ages of the individual stars inside some of these ancient galaxies. Their results were staggering. The analysis suggested some stars were potentially hundreds of millions of years older than the universe was supposed to be at that point in time. Let that sink in. It's like finding a human fossil that appears to be older than the rock layer it was found in. It just doesn't make sense. Now, the scientists behind this study stressed that their conclusions depend heavily on computer models. Think of it like using a modern weather app to predict the climate during the Ice Age. The tools are powerful, but they were built for our modern universe and might not apply to the extreme conditions of the early cosmos. So, this isn't definitive proof, but it's a glaring red flag in our data. If these findings are ever confirmed, it's not just a crack in our cosmic model, it's a chasm. This isn't just one weird study. The data from Webb is consistently showing us an early universe that's far more developed than we can explain. We're seeing supermassive black holes at the centers of these galaxies that are, just like the galaxies themselves, bewilderingly large. They too appear to have grown too big too fast. This pileup of uncomfortable data has put scientists in a fascinating spot. The standard model of cosmology, called Lambda CDM, has been incredibly successful. It explains the afterglow of the Big Bang and the universe's accelerating expansion, so no one is ready to just throw it away. The first instinct is to try and adjust the dials. Maybe, they argue, everything was just more efficient in the early universe. Perhaps gas collapsed faster, stars ignited more fiercely, and black holes ate more aggressively. 
The issue is, when they plug these faster settings into their simulations, it often creates other problems, like predicting a swarm of small galaxies that Webb simply doesn't see. This isn't the only big puzzle in cosmology either. For years, astronomers have been wrestling with the Hubble tension. To put it simply, it's like two different navigation apps giving you conflicting arrival times for the same trip. When we measure the universe's expansion rate using nearby objects, we get one speed. But when we calculate what that speed should be based on the physics of the early universe, we get a different number. The two don't match up. Together, the Hubble tension and the impossible early galaxies make you wonder. Are these just wrinkles to be ironed out, or are they pointing to a completely new kind of physics? If galaxies can't form this fast in our current timeline, what if the timeline itself isn't the whole story? What if the Big Bang wasn't a true beginning? If some things in our universe appear older than the universe itself, where does that leave us? To find a possible answer, we have to explore an idea from the fringes of physics, one that flips our whole concept of a beginning on its head, the cyclic universe. This theory, which is highly speculative, proposes that our universe is just one in an endless series of cosmic cycles. Instead of a single Big Bang from nothing, there are repeating episodes of expansion and renewal. Think of it not as a one-time explosion, but as a cosmic phoenix, living, dying, and being reborn from its own ashes over and over again. One of the most mind-bending versions of this idea comes from the Nobel Prize-winning physicist Sir Roger Penrose. He suggests our universe will expand for trillions of years until everything decays, stars burn out, black holes swallow all matter, and eventually even those black holes evaporate into nothing, leaving a cold, empty universe of low-energy light. But here's the genius part. In a universe where only massless photons exist, particles that don't experience time, the very concepts of time and distance become meaningless. At that point, an infinitely large, empty universe becomes mathematically identical to an infinitely small, dense one. It's like reaching the edge of a video game map only to find it wraps around and you're right back at the starting point. The end of one universe seamlessly becomes the Big Bang for the next. So how could this radical theory explain Webb's paradox? Well, if our universe is just the latest cycle, maybe not everything was completely reset in the last transition. Perhaps the most massive galaxies and black holes aren't new at all, but are cosmic fossils structures that somehow survived from the previous eon. It's like tearing down an old cathedral, but leaving the deep stone foundations. When you build a new church on top, it looks impossibly sturdy for a brand new building. Suddenly, a galaxy that looks too mature for our universe makes a strange kind of sense. It wasn't born in our universe, it was inherited. Of course, there is zero direct proof for this. It remains a fascinating but unproven hypothesis. But as new data challenges our standard story, ideas once considered fringe are getting a serious second look. The James Webb Telescope was built to give us answers, but instead, it has left us with much bigger, much more exciting questions. It has pulled back the curtain on the cosmic dawn and revealed structures that are too mature, too massive, and too numerous for our rulebook. These discoveries are pushing our understanding of the universe to its absolute limits, forcing a re-examination of how everything we know came to be. While most scientists are working to adjust our existing theories, these puzzles have breathed new life into more radical ideas, like that of a cyclic universe. This theory offers a tantalizing, if unproven, explanation that we are seeing not the birth of the first galaxies, but an inheritance from a universe that came before. 
we are living in the middle of a thrilling scientific mystery where every new image from Webb adds another clue. And it leaves us with a truly mind-bending thought. If the universe is born, dies, and is born again, does that mean that in some impossibly distant future, after our cosmos has faded to black and a new one has ignited, some version of us will be here again, looking up at the stars and wondering where it all came from.